School with Art Mag. We're normally based out of Charleston, South Carolina, but today we're here at Hilton Head Island, and we are going to be chatting with some people about their really great outdoor public art exhibition. As you can see behind me, we have the Charles Fraser Walking the Alligator uh, statue, which was the first public art sculpture put here at Compass Rose Park in Hilton Head Island. And this year, September 2011, we're going to be doing a great exhibition and planning yet another public art piece to meet here on Hilton Head. Well, the art was juried in by a um, wonderful jury led by the guest curator, Roberta Sokolitz out of Charleston. We also had a land planner, a patron, and a few local artists on the jury. The 20 pieces that you can expect to see when you come to Hilton Head Island are doubled in life size. Um, they're encouraging you to play with them, interact with them, climb on them, touch them, feel the textures. They're made of various mediums, bronze, steel, stainless steel, stone, granite glass, ceramic. Well, the jury will convene in October after the pieces has been up for over a month and they will make a decision on which piece best fits the places of priority that the town has given us to put public art. And, and you had told me earlier too that they were also chosen to withstand different elements like hurricanes or, or yes, children our, climbing all over them. Too. Our call so. for proposal um, defined them as must be able to withstand hurricane winds, floods, small children climbing on them, large people sitting on them, and birds making nests in them. I love it. And so the submissions that we received, which were over 360 that we had to cull down to 20, all fit that criteria. And again, we chose, or the jury I should say, chose a grouping that's a really nice, well-rounded representation of figurative as well as abstract. They'll be dropped beautifully around the property of the Coastal Discovery Museum of the historic Honeyhorn property. And we're developing a curriculum around it based on the catalog from the show that will be a walking map for children, a kind of hunt and find, a hide and seek game, as well as um, activities for school children and after school programs. So you can expect to see some impressive sculptures equivalent to those maybe in Millennium Park in Chicago and other places that you might have visited.